all right so far in this series we have been able to create our own routes and you know, use our own controllers and views to get the basic things in place so so in this lesson why don't we go ahead and create our own migration so that we are able to publish them um, inside the database migrations folder now you can see these are the two default ones so we'll have our own and then we can move on to having uh, quite a few complex stuffs in there so the first step is basically where should we keep our you know package migrations so the best place will be to create a folder here called publishable okay and in that why don't we have database and inside that we'll have migrations okay so this is very similar to what actually a migration is created into and then why don't we create a file in this today is 12th december right so why don't we do something like 2017 uh, this is the month so 12 07 sorry 0 okay it's 12 12 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 zeros and then we will say create audit table okay and this is our migration file I'll just remove everything in here let's create the basic stub I'll copy this insert it here and our class name will be audit table okay the use is just fine schema I will have this as audit and that's about it this is the audits sorry this is the basic stub right so we have this file now <coughs> and um, we need to understand how we can publish these migrations into the this particular folder when our package is ready and then move ahead right so let's see for simplicity why don't I go ahead and add a few tables uh, sorry columns to this migration and then I'll come back okay so nothing much just the name a user ID checklist ID something which we haven't touched upon but we will do it later on um, it will be a foreign key and a boolean which is is published and then we have the rest of the things like timestamps so yeah this is my file and what I primarily want to do is when I do something like PA or rather PHP artisan that's PA for me uh, vendor publish right I should see my package here first of all which we don't and I should be able to you know push the migrations right so let's start with that in our mind so I'll go to my service provider and we'll need to work on this so I'll call a function let's just say it's this dot uh, register publishables I don't want to bloat my register method I want to keep it clean so yeah I have this thing getting called and uh, the first thing which I will do is schema dot what was it default um, default string length I think string length is 191 okay and once that is done uh, uh, do I need to do that yeah I think not here but in the boot I will add that okay oh, the schema is already present 
so yeah this is done um i need to define a base path for me i will just say dir name okay and then i will define a very an array of publishable so array publishable and the first one being migrations okay and in this what i will do is inside double quotes say base path slash publishable okay publishable slash database slash migrations should go inside database path migrations okay so yeah base path i got it from here then publishable database migrations okay and what i'm saying is put everything in here into the migrations folder and that's all about that's all to it and so yeah for each i'll have array publishable as dollar group dollar paths and yeah this dot publishes dollar path to dollar group so once this is done i think we'll start seeing our survey service provider right and why don't we just do that so we have our file in here you know it's it's here and one thing to notice is now let's say if i do one more just you know in case is archived okay this is inside my uh if you see the hint on top it's inside my package right and i close it i run vendor publish i select five i hit enter this file is not getting updated now okay so if you land up in this kind of a situation you need to understand that because the file already exists it will not overwrite it i have to explicitly say that yes i am forcing it to do it and that's how it will you know ensure that the old file is overridden now i don't want that field is published so i just redid the entire thing and now i have my migration in here uh, service provider is telling it and if i want i can do other things as well for example let's just say i also want a config file for some reason uh, i don't know why maybe we'll use it later so dollar base path uh, where should we put it resources right resources and no it should be inside publishable um, config and let's just say our um, survey dot php this will go inside uh this should go inside of there is a helper which is config path and i will name it survey.php okay this is done and which will mean i need to add this so publishable inside that config and then this inside it I'll return an empty array for now okay these are some of the config variables used by the audit package okay um nothing in here as of now but yes if i do force even without force it should pretty much add that config file 
in place right so this is my database this is config do we have our audit or oh, so, sorry survey yes we do so you can see this is also coming up so this is how we can publish almost anything um, migrations config uh, assets resources whatever we want to do and we can you know uh, so basically this is our from path and this is our to path which we are iterating through this array and um, you know making them happen so yeah that's that's about it that's how we use the uh, this publishes command to publish anything uh, which is required by by our package to run in the application so yeah thanks for watching guys if you do like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do come up with suggestions and requests you know someone asked how to do migrations and i have shown how you can do it in my next video i will you know start with uh, you know integrating models and getting data into our application and things like that so yeah stay tuned